couple days ago, I did a topic called Lessons I Learned Playing Football. And I thought about another thing. Last night, I was talking with my dad and some friends. No, it's just my dad and his friend, Kevin. Uh, Kevin's my friend, too. Um, and I'm going to call this part two of Lessons I Learned Playing Football, where football taught me a lesson about risk-taking. And, you know, as a quarterback, the throws I regret the most are the throws where I didn't pull the trigger. I didn't throw the ball. I look back at my career and I go, I, I threw too many checkdowns. There were moments where, like, first and 10, I had a big 6'5 receiver named Marcus where, you know, he played college basketball and he's got a 5'7 guy on first and 10 guarding him one on one. I should have thrown the ball. I should have thrown a deep ball to Marcus. I don't know why I didn't pull the trigger more often on that. I should have taken a few more chances. I just, that's my big regret from football is looking back. If there's any regret, it's that I didn't take more chances downfield in a one on one situation. You know, like a, a fade speed out concept, I would take the speed out every single time. I had this thing I used to tell myself you can't go broke taking a profit. If the five yard out is there, take it every single time. And for the most part, yeah, take the five yard out. But every once in a while, on first and 10, you get man covers on the outside where there's just a, a height. You know, disadvantage, and you're like, it's first and ten. If you fail, it's going to be just second and ten. Throw the ball deep to Marcus. Let him go grab a jump ball. What's the worst that can happen? He's going to knock it down. I don't know. I just look back and said, man, I threw the the out route too many times in my career playing football, and it's a good analogy for life. You know, the point of this is to say that it's okay to take risks. In fact, I think it's valuable and very important to at times in your life and career take some risks all the best decisions in my life since that time in my my lifetime playing football I've taken risks and they've been all the best moments have been moments where I took a risk and you know kind of took a leap of faith and it worked at once upon a time I quit my job I got a call on my lunch break on a Wednesday guy says hey want to come to LA and make a movie I quit my job on the spot. My boss was really nice to me. And Thursday morning, I left for L.A. The very next morning, 4 a.m., bam, in a car, driving to L.A. Got there Friday. It's, a long, it's like a 18-hour like drive, 14, 24, some, some crazy long drive from Portland to L.A. And then when I was in L.A., doing well, had a pretty nice life there. Um, like, not great, but like working on a movie. I'm in part of a crew. It's really fun. Um, I left that good opportunity in L.A., Partway through to go to college. The benefit of college for me was I could take out a loan, meaning I didn't have to pay for it at the time. I could pay for it later. And I could have a room where I could stay for what it felt like for free, even though it wasn't. I had a room where I could stay and live and make YouTube videos. And guess what, what we're doing now? I have a place where I make YouTube videos. And it's my, it's, I'm not in college. It's my full-time job because at one point I took another risk. I left college. And had enough money making YouTube. I said, I'm going to do this full time. I don't need my degree. Let's just make YouTube videos and keep doing it. And I just go back to all the throws that I regret in football the most are the ones that I didn't pull the trigger on. The risks I didn't take. Now, you don't want to be Johnny Manziel. Right? I, I will never forget what Johnny Manziel did. There was this play. Oh, my gosh. It was a, uh, what was it? It was like a. Second and seven. First of all, I want to say there's this there's a fine middle ground between me, Captain Checkdown, Mr. Safe, where you're never taking risks, and then Johnny Manziel. As a quarterback, I was way too safe. And I threw too many checkdowns. I didn't throw the ball vertically enough. Johnny Manziel was completely the opposite, where Johnny Manziel was throwing balls up in the middle of the field against Alabama in a triple coverage, just getting lucky. And here's what I'll say. I'll never forget the Chick-fil-A Bowl... Duke versus Texas A&M, I, 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 think, I think it was second and seven. Johnny Menzel catches a snap. He's got a, a dig right over the middle, like a 15-yard gain, wide open in the middle of the field. And he doesn't throw the ball. He looks at it. He goes, nah. He like takes a step back, tries to run forward, runs into a lineman, jumps on the guy's back, reverse pivot, spins out, extends a play to the left, throws the ball downfield for a touchdown, and you're like, what was that? Johnny Mantell broke every single rule of playing the quarterback position. You had a guy open for 15 yards. Take it. And instead, he took this crazy risk, runs around, extends a play, throws a touchdown. And you're like, well, I guess. I mean, look, that's stupid and lucky and amazing. 
So there's that fine middle ground again between me, Mr. Safe Captain Checkdown, my playing career where I didn't take enough chances. And then there's that, you also can't take risks like Johnny Manziel, where Johnny Manziel is just reckless. But there's that middle ground where I really believe you got to be willing to take some risks in life where it just it's incredibly important. Some risks are worth taking. And I learned that from football. Again, the only throws I regret from my playing days are the throws I didn't make, where I had man-to-man coverage downfield and I didn't pull the trigger. That's my, my the other lesson I learned from football. Take risks. It's okay. I encourage you. It's fine. Maybe I'll do a follow-up at some point, a part three. Um, but my point is, man, football has so many life lessons you can learn, and they're endless, and it's a great analogy for life. And um, just I, I love the sport of football so very much.